Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. I thought I would use today, do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the energies of the cards and see how that would resonate in terms of advice, support, encouragement. I was going to do a daily reading but you know, I, um, I thought let's pull the cards and see what we get. What do we have? For the day, thank you, angels, spirits, guides, advice, support, encouragement. Take what resonates for you. Won't be for everyone, as usual. We've got the death card. Page of cups. And the four of cups, okay. Beneath that, we've got the hermit. So, the death card is all about change. And it might well be here that you need to decide here if you want change, if you're ready for transformation, if you're ready to shed an old skin. That can be about letting go of something that doesn't serve you anymore, and embracing the new. It really is an energy of out with the old and in with the new, and that's completely the energy. It's quite a significant uh, feeling here where you're ready to let go of something that doesn't serve you anymore and be renewed and rebirth, you know, and embrace a rebirth. This is what's available to you in the energies today. And sometimes we have to acknowledge that we have to let go of something in order to bring significant transformation our way, whether it's to do with endings or whether we want a complete and utter change on a particular aspect of our life. The Page of Cups can be about exploring new ways that bring us happiness and joy. Sometimes we have to embrace change to bring in the new, to follow a new path to embrace something that we see the potential of real happiness and joy and even greater fulfillment in which any, whichever area of life. So this is what I'm seeing here, is being open to, again, embrace that sense of transformation and do what, and, and follow a path that brings us greater joy and happiness and fulfillment. Could be a money career thing, could be a life thing in terms of, you know, moving or relocating, embracing some kind of ending in terms of relationships to uh, find greater fulfillment elsewhere and go in search of that. For others of you, it could be a money career thing. The Four of Cups is an energy where we're not doing anything about it right now. You might be thinking about it. But this can be when I'm bored, I'm fed up, I'm dissatisfied, I'm discontent, but not done anything about it. And this can be sometimes a bit of a divine nudge energy with our instinct and our intuition. Well, if I'm not happy in my current circumstances where I am, but I, you know, I've, I'm, I'm sitting there crossed arm and crossed leg, but I've not done anything about it, is it time for change? Is it time to embrace complete transformation? Is it time to focus on what I need to let go of? What I need to, uh, how do I welcome in the new? How do I bring that change around? This is the energy. And sometimes we have that sense of a bit of an intuitive nudge, intuitive insight in these readings, certainly with these energies being here and the hermit, where we need to kind of consider what do I do? How do I bring significant change? Am I ready for that now? 
could even be things like a career change, th these cards as well. Following a, following a path that brings you greater joy, happiness and fulfillment. So the hermit is when we need to look at what's led to this point. We need to look at the experience that has led to this point. And we shine the lamp. And spirit in that moment also helps illuminate us in terms of how we move forward. This is where we're at one with God, spirit, the universe, uh, in terms of moving forward uh, on a path that is more right for us, more authentic for us, more true to us. This is the energy that I'm seeing here. It can also be somebody who might be, if you're not sure on what to do and you're a little bit stuck, there could be somebody giving you advice. So you might seek advice from somebody who will give you sage counsel. This is what I always say with the hermit. And the additional message with the hermit, for some of you, you might want to, you might want to become a healer. You might, on any aspect, you know, you might be thinking about pursuing uh, a path as a, as a healer to bring about change in your life. And that's what I have for the day. And I just wanted to kind of make it more intuitive, more about what the energies are in terms of help, advice, support, shining a light on issue or an area of your life that you might be considering complete change in, where, where you might be ready for change. And sometimes endings happen as well, only to guide us on a path of change that's more truth to us, true to ourselves, you know? So this is the energy that we're working with here. Let's pull a little angel message for the day. What do we have for the day? Thank you. Message for the day. We have hope. Hope indicates that the sun is about to come out in an area of your life. The angel wisdom reminds you that your spirit is immensely resilient and powerful. So keep faith with your dreams and visions. Remember the universe wants you to have your heart's desire. It is simply waiting for you to believe you deserve it before the angels bring it to you. Do your part by deciding what you truly want. Then send out positive thoughts for the changes you seek and for the fulfillment of your wishes. Ask the angels for help and they will fan the sparks of potential and bring them to life. Hope is a magnetic quality which attracts the great and the beautiful into your life. So the affirmation for the day, I am eternally optimistic. That's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time.